Minasang, konnichiwa, Samurai Engineer Desk. In this video, we are continuing with our discussion on road signs and pavement markings. We are using the DPW's manual for this. And uh, we are now going to the content of module two. Is our module two? Let's start with regulatory signs. What do you mean by regulatory signs? These are the signs which requires drivers' compliance. Regulatory signs indicate application of legal or statutory requirements, obligation to give way at intersections, speed limits, prohibition of movements at intersections, and control of parking of vehicles. Regulatory signs and devices not included in this chapter are as follows. Regulatory signs are applicable exclusively to expressway. So we have a different module for that. Regulatory pavement markings, which we will discuss also a separate module and uh, from the section B of the appendix. Okay. And uh, number three, traffic control signals. There are other type R signs. Type R meaning regulatory, which also give traffic instructions are called special traffic instruction signs. These signs inform or warn motorists of their obligation to obey traffic rules. These signs are included in other modules. So we'll uh, proceed. But there, on the uh, objective of this uh, regulatory sign, most uh, of these are rectangular in shape with either red or black legion on a generally white background. The notable exemption to these are stop signs, which is uh, octagonal, give way, inverted triangle, and some manually operated banner used in road works. Regulatory signs shall be erected only with the approval of Department Secretary of DPWS. Okay. And included in this classification are those signs that uh, indicate removal of a legal restriction imposed by preceding regulatory sign. An example is speed, the restriction sign, R4-2. Okay. Regulation may apply to a uh, considerable length of road and repeater signs may be required. However, unnecessary signs should be avoided if the situation can be adequately catered for by the basic traffic rules. A. Location of these signs. No specific rules can be applied as to the exact location of regulatory signs as their position varies with the purpose of the sign. Okay. Most signs are usually located on the right side of the carriageway to face the approaching traffic. Okay. On wide carriageway with median island, the signs may be erected on both sides of the carriageway to ensure visibility. The keep right or keep left signs are installed where a physical obstruction exists. Example, a traffic island in channelized intersections and on the median islands at the start of a divided road. Median meaning at the middle or in the middle, not, not, not exactly at the center, in between the uh, space uh, provided for uh, as a carriageway. The regulator Regulatory pedestrian crossing, circular sign with cross and yellow green background is located in the vicinity of the authorized map crossing. Okay, zebras. Okay, zebra meaning yellow and black. So, control of parking may be required to ensure visibility of pedestrians. Okay. What are the classification of regulatory signs?
Okay. Priority signs are one. Direction signs are two. Prohibited or restrictive signs are three. Speed signs are four. Parking signs are five. And miscellaneous signs are six. But there are six types. There are six classifications. Okay, so we are uh, on what? Different sections of this module. So, sign sizes. There are generally four sizes for regulatory signs. Size A for urban low speed roads. Size B for rural roads with speed limits between 60 and 70 kph. Rural roads. Size C for high speed rural highways, multi lane urban roads. And size D for expressways. So, there are four different sizes. So I think uh, we have to, to separate discussion of modules on different uh, regulatory sign classification. And because of that, we will end our uh, present module in this page and uh, we'll uh, see you next meeting. Again, this is Dr. AP, Preaching Engineering for Nation Building.